Hey there, folks, welcome back again. Uh, it's Sunday tomorrow, and uh, true to form, we are going to have a bit of a cook up outside on the campfire. We've got quite a lot going on tomorrow, gardening wise and stuff, so we're going to do a bit of prep work today. We're going to have a go at making chicken Kiev in the Dutch oven. What we're going to do this afternoon is basically prepare the chicken Kievs so we can bung them in the fridge overnight to get the butter nice and hard. So when we chuck it in the hot oil tomorrow, it's got a fighting chance of staying inside the chicken and, and doing its job in terms of uh, marinating from the inside out. Let's get started. I've got some greaseproof paper. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab the chicken breast. Okay, I asked the butcher to off them up as wide as they can, as wide as they could without splitting them. We want to try and avoid tearing the chicken so that the butter doesn't leak out prematurely. What we're going to do now is put a bit of greaseproof paper on the top. I'm going to make some wax with the old rolling pin. Try and flatten it out a little bit. Slap, 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 slap. Okay, so after a few wax, it should be a little bit flatter, which it is. If you can see that like that. Okay, so we're going to go in with a little bit of salt. Nice and even. Perfect. Pepper. Excellent. Oregano. Oregano. From Yorkshire. There we go. Bit of thyme. Some lemon zest. Lemons are off our tree. Some butter. I'm just going to knock a few little bits just in the middle there, like that. Don't have to go mental. Nice. And some garlic. I'm going to go a whole garlic clove per chicken breast, straight on the top like so. And then we're going to fold this bad boy up. We're just going to, we're going to move this over a little bit, I think. And we're going to start folding it over like so, trying to get it nice and tight as best we can. We can fold the end in a little bit as well. And I think we can fold this end in a little bit as well. Fold that end over and just give it a roll like like so there we go then we've got to wrap it in some cling film i'm going to try and get this nice and tight like that find the sides in there we go so we're just going to leave that like that overnight in the fridge and then tomorrow morning, well, tomorrow lunchtime, we'll just pop it out, flour it, egg it, breadcrumb it and fry it up. Four more to go. These fellas are all now uh, wrapped up nice and tight, ready to go to bed. So they're going to uh, have a nice night's rest in the fridge ready to rock and roll in the morning. We've got the bonfire on the go, um, so that's almost ready. In the meantime, we're going to do a bit of prep. So what we've got to go with the old uh, chick kibs is we've got some French beans which we're just going to top and tail and then boil them up and we've got some potatoes as well which we're going to peel and then get them parboiled as well. So we're not going to go for chips, we're going to go for sort of cubes today, just to mix it up a little bit. There we go, we're going to give them a wash. 
Okay, so we've got these bad boys washed up. We'll pop them in here. A little bit more water. So I've just decided to raise it up a little bit using the stand. It was getting plenty hot enough, but there wasn't enough airflow coming through. And by raising it up, I can feed in little sticks if I decide that I need more power. And this here is just a blower. It's just a very, very crimped down at one end, very small hole. And it's just perfect for, for getting in close without burning your face off. So while that's boiling away, we're going to get the Dutch oven close to the fire and start warming the oil through. Okay, so they've had a good 10 minutes now. So. We're going to drain them. Like so. The green beans we're going to pop in here. So that's the green beans in there. We're going to cook those up later on. Got the potatoes, which can pretty much go straight to the old uh, Dutch oven. So we'll move it off the fire so we're not going to burn ourselves. Uh, we'll check it with one. We can still get them on in there. And then on the fire. Okay, these aren't far away from being done, so we're going to take them out. We'll finish those off a bit later. What we'll do now is occupy them nice and hot because we're going to go for the chicken. Okay. Well, we've got the chicken. What we're going to do for the mix is we've got a couple of eggs. We're going to go eggs. We've got some flour, eggs, flour, breadcrumbs, and then into the oil. These breadcrumbs I've made myself. If you want to know how I've made them, you should check out the, uh, the Scotch egg video. There's a link floating around up here somewhere. Two eggs. Okay, so these are just literally just out of the fridge. Let's hope that's yeah, going to work. Okay, we're going to go chicken. We're going to go in with the flour. Just give it a roll in the flour, like that. Egg. Nice breadcrumbs. Plenty of breadcrumbs. And we use this bad boy and we will drop it in the oil. Okay, two eggs was just enough. Same with the breadcrumbs. And then into the oil. Whilst the chicken gets to cooking, we're just going to put the, the beans back on. And this here is some flavoured butter. 
So it's similar to what we put inside the chicken Kiev uh, with an addition of rosemary and also anchovies, chopped up anchovies. Okay, these are looking pretty good. So we're going to take them out and we're going to put the chips back in. We're talking a bit of crunch there. Lovely stuff. Things are looking pretty good. We can take them off. Let's check the chips. Oh yes, getting some lovely colour. Another couple of minutes, we be good to go. Make sure these are okay, which they are, but this is the true test, will the butter ooze? I'll tell you what, not bad. <laughs> 